Hello and welcome to the kitting down video for the Evie's Evolution diamond painting that we recently completed. In front of me I've got the leftover diamonds, I've got a diamond tray, I've got the list of colours, I've got my storage which are tic tac boxes, I've got some spare baggies and some stickers just in case. I've also got a tub which I put the spares of spares in and I probably will be showing you that a bit later. So to get started, we're going to kit down all of the spares into the storage. Now my storage system, I only store my squares this way. So I've got five of these Tic Tac boxes in front of me, all labeled with the numbers that I've already got. So it starts in this bottom left-hand corner and moves along. And like I say, I've got five of these. Okay, let's get started with 152. And in my 152 tub, you can see it's quite full with diamonds I've used from other kits. So we'll tip these ones out. They are my leftovers. And I tend to check the colour. They're very close in colour so they'll be okay to go into this tub. If they were very different, I would put them in a separate baggie and put them into my spares of spares. 152. Next, 158 is number one. So I'll tip my spares into there. 158, again, good color match so they can go in here. Now with the 158, I had a lot of leftover packets. So instead of trying to put them into this storage system, I'm going to put them in my tub. And I've got a very high tech, <laughs> scabby piece of paper here <laughs> to write down which numbers I have in this tub. And as you can see, I do cross them out as I use them because I like to use my leftovers for different projects. So I will write 158 here and I will put them in the tub. I have got another system coming up for that, which I will show you on a different video, a bit more high tech. Next, we've got number two, which is 208. So 208, I don't have a box for at the moment in my Tic Tac storage. Don't know why that one's upside down, let's put that right. So 208, I will store in my spares of spares tub in a separate baggie. So we'll write on the sticker 208 and pop the sticker on. Now what I am going to do is make a note of the fact that I don't have a tub for 208 and then at a later date, I will be changing around the Tic Tac boxes and creating a new one for this one. So at the moment, we just need to write 208 on here. As you can see, they're in number order. And I'll pop it into the storage system. So the next colour is 322 two. and again I don't have a tic tac box for 322. Two. I'm going to rethink it, I'm going to take 208 out and after the video is complete I am going to sort out my tic tac boxes and make sure that I've got a slot for these colours because if I've got a few without tubs then it's going to be worth doing 
sooner rather than later. So three, two, two goes on the bag. And they are the leftovers. But I've also got these two packets here. So I'll pop them in here to deal with a bit later. Next, 326. Again, I don't have a tub for. Isn't it lovely to get new colours in your collection? I always see them as a collection of colours. So 326, we'll get a baggie. Beautiful pink colour, which will be a lovely addition to my Square Diamonds collection. Put the sticker on and put it aside. Next, 327. Hooray, we've got a tub. <laughs> so 327 is number five. And we're going to add them into the tub. Perfect. Three, five, two. I feel like I'm doing bingo. <laughs> Three, five, two. I have got a few from another kit. So, and I have got a spare packet as well. So, yep. Yeah. Pour those in. Now you may wonder why I do keep them in the packet inside the tub. I find I prefer doing that and then I know which kit or I kind of have an idea which kit they came from. Obviously with these ones they were in the separate bags so I've just thrown those away as I've used them so they can go in loosely just so you know. And I've got a spare one for my spare box. So three, five, two, which will pop in the tub. And I do try and keep them in numerical order in the tub so that I'm not scratching about trying to find them when I want them. Number seven is four, five, one. And here we have 451. Now, this is interesting because I think these look a little bit greener. Oh, no, perhaps not. Let's just do a little test. Oh, no, they're perfectly fine. They looked a bit greener in the tub, perhaps because it was a green tub. But no, they can go in. If they were too different, I would have put them in a separate bag and put them in my spares of spares. 610 is the next number, so we have finished with this tub for now. I'm moving on to the second tub. Again, exactly the same, starting in this left corner and moving across. So 610, I don't have a tub for. So I'm going to get a baggie, write a sticker. and pop them in. And doing the tic-tac boxes this way, it means I know how many extra tic-tac boxes, um, yeah, boxes I will need to add to the collection. Whereas if I was doing it as I went along and changing them around all the time, it would end up where, you know, it just becomes a bit more messy. So doing it this way, I'll be able to see the bag is and give them a count and then work out my tic tac boxes. 744, four, we do have a tic tac box for. Now, sorry, I'll just get those out. Use my tweezers actually. 
one of these for tweezers. <laughs> um, let's see, I, it is a close colour. I'm just going to see how full this Tic Tac box is. Actually, it's not too bad. I think I'll get them all in with a squish. Otherwise, I would have put this packet in my spares of spares. But no, that's fine. Okay, 722. We're on to this box now. So before I continue, I'll take the stickers off the tops. And these stickers will just be binned. I don't keep these for any other projects. So throw those stickers away and keep the tubs for next time. These tubs do come in this case, by the way. It's just that I stole these ones from a different case that I've got another project going on with. I feel like I'm juggling tubs at the moment. So they can be put aside. Right, A772. Have we got a box for 772? No, I don't. So this one will go in a baggy as well. I may well have to invest in a new Tic Tac box. I'll have to see. I'll show you my final box and you'll see why I think I might need another one. I'll show you when we get to it. 780 is the next one. Yes, we've got a box. What I like about this is that the numbers are in order and also because they started with numbers and then capital letters we are actually going in order of the numbers as well so that makes this kitting down really easy whereas if they weren't in number order you might be dipping in and out every time so 799 not many of those left apart from I've got two packets of these too. Let's have a look. 799 I do have a tub for. So they can go in there. And I think I'll get one packet in. I wonder if I'd get both in. Let's have a quick. It might be a bit too no, I wouldn't. So just put one in. And you may wonder why I'm just not cutting open these and just pouring them in because they would fit. But I quite like keeping them in the packets if, if I can. Just, I don't know why, I just like to. <laughs> 799. So this can go in the tub. I think it's because then I can see easily because these little packets carry about 200 diamonds in each I know that I've got 400 and a bit so I think that's the reason why uh, there'd be a logical reason you know um, <laughs> 890 this beautiful dark green color so 890 oh I'm into my next tic tac box already do we have an 890? Oh yes, we do. Good. There it is. So I've got a mix already, but these do look like they're similar in the colourway. So no problem with mixing those up. I thought I'd drop some then, but perhaps not. Oh, there it is. 
don't want to lose any of our precious diamonds. There we go. 890 is done. Next, 899. 899, I don't have a tub for. Another new colour for my collection, yes. 899, which is E. Oh, I've got some friends in there, so what I'll do is grab a diamond pen and pull these out before I store them away. It's the wrong way around that one. That's it. And I will show you what I do with these at the end of the video. So 899. So I've done 899, I'm on to 900. Let's have a little look, 900, yes, I have a tub. Ooh, it's full, a packed tub, this one. So, not many leftovers though. Uh, no, I have got another packet as well. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think I'm going to try and squeeze these into here. It's going to be jam, jam, jam packed. I think I'll be able to do it though. Oh, squeeze. <laughs> yeah, they'll fit. Good. And then I can put my spare pack in my spare tub. 900. It'll be interesting to know how you store your spares. Do let me know. See if you store yours quite similar to me. 9.15 is next, and we do have a tub for those. And I have got a lot of spare packets here. So these ones can go in the tub. And then the spares can go in the spares. I'm going to have quite a full tub. I might need to get a bigger tub, you know. 9, what was it? 9.15, yes. Next, 938. Again, quite a full tub of those. Ooh, so lucky having so many spares. Um, hmm, let's have a little look and see. Is that an open packet? Ooh, delicate operation getting this out. No, I think that's going to be right. Colours similar, in they go. Let's see if I can squish this packet in the top. Oh, yes. Perfect. 939. I know I've got um, more of these here as well. Look how many packets I had left over of those. Really generous. So we've got these leftovers to go in the tub. Again, close match, so that's good. And we'll put our 939s in the tub. And we already have some, I thought we would do. It's quite a common colour, isn't it, that 939? There they are. 
0.939. We'll put those with those. Squish them down again. And next on to 945. Ooh, got an empty tub here. I must have used all of these ones. So 945 is K. Nice to be able to put them back in. Create a, a nice full box again. Perfect. 986, I don't have a tub for. 986. Lovely. And put those aside. Nine eight nine. I do have a pack in here. Let's see how close they are in colour. Although, if this pack isn't open, I would put them in anyway. They are slightly different, these two greens, unless the pack is a bit deceiving. But I think they're slightly different. This pack is sealed, so I am going to be able to put them both in. Once I open this pack, I would probably keep these two greens separate because they're slightly different, which is what we do find sometimes with our diamonds. They may be the same number, but it might be batch number or the different diamond painting manufacturers. So we're on to 3042. 3042 is in my next box. Oh, I actually don't have a 3042, so we will do a new baggie. Three zero four two. Lovely antiqued, antiqued purpley lilac. So I don't have many of those at all in my spares. So nice to have some. 3325 is next. 3325. Oh, I don't have one. Wow, got loads of new ones. Three, three, two, five. I've got a spare pack of those as well. Now these ones are a little bit static. Give them a good tap. There. bag in there as well because I think we'd get that into one tic-tac box make sure it's sealed really well and I've just noticed I've got a spare 938 here as well so let's add that to our list 938 and put those in next to our 939s Okay, so we're up to 3363. Have I got one? I do. 3363. Quite a full pot, that one. So, hmm, very full. And I think that looks a slightly different colour as well. So I'm going to 
keep these ones in here and get a new bag for our spares box. 3363 three, and keep those. Oh, I'm sorry for the wobble there. And keep those two separate. Now, if there's two different greens, when it comes to doing a project, I would probably use the one with the most, if it was a big area, use the one with the most first. And then if you don't use them side by side, you could probably dot them in because they won't be too different. It's only if they're side by side that you can really tell. Three, three, six, oh, three, three, six, three. So I've already got an extra one in here. Three, three, six, three. I'll pop that here. We're all jumping out now. Definitely need a bigger tub. Okay, three, six, eight, seven. Don't have a top four. And I do have a separate packet. Three, six, eight, seven. Not many in the tub, but a nice brand new packet to add to the bag. That aside, three, six, eight, nine. Please, no. Oh, wow. This is quite unusual, by the way. Normally when I kit down, I, I do have the majority of the Tic Tac boxes already. So if you're wanting <laughs> to collect some colours that you don't have, this kit might be a good one to do, you know. 3689. Do you ever do that? Do you ever get a kit just for the leftovers? <laughs> 3705. 3705, I've got one for. And that is the V. Oh, it's such a pretty colour. Oh, I'm pleased to have more of those. And they are close in colour, so that's good. Put that in. And 3727, yes, I've got a tub for that one too. 3727, yep. looks like there's um, some friends in this one now. Let's just have a little look here. those out. There's another one, right. Put those ones in. Right, next. On to Y. Three seven three seven three one. Three seven three one. Yes. I think that's a spare bag as well. I think we'll get them in here. Yeah, that's fine. Three, seven, three, one, and we need to add the bag to our spares. Three, seven, three, one. Three, seven, four, seven. Three, seven, four, seven. I don't have one. 
I think I should have got more of these bags out at the beginning. <laughs> Three, seven, four, seven. And I do have some spare packets as well. What number? That was Z. aside and I'll add these into the tub. Three, seven, four, seven. Because I'm not I know I'm not going to get all of those into a tic tac box. So I can go in the tub. Three seven seven zero got all of these plus more packets. Three seven seven zero. I've already got some. Here they are. So I'll put those with those. Three seven seven two. Three seven seven two. Yep. And I think I'll add the bag in. See if it'll go in. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Three seven seven six, which was the gingerbready colour. Three seven seven six. That one. Oh no, I've got a 780. 780. Mm. I do have a 780 in here already. I must have missed that one earlier. There's the other 780. So put that with that. Push it down. 3776. Three seven nine nine. Not many of those, so it's nice to have some more. By the way, when I'm tipping these, I'm holding these lids quite tight while I do this bit, just just in case. I've not had a problem before, but you never know. So nice to have some more of those. It's getting a bit low. Three eight two eight. Three eight two eight is F. Again, quite static here. The way they came out. Three eight two eight. I do have a spare pack for as well. last box as you can see I've got the numbers here but I've also used this for some kitting up so I use it that way round for one of my projects well it was actually Ben's project Ben was doing a diamond painting and needed some storage 
and we didn't have a spare one, so I said he could use this. Now, this is quite a while ago, and I'm in two minds whether to finish the diamond painting for him, because I want these tic-tac boxes back. <laughs> so, this is what I mean by I might need to buy another tic-tac box. So, 3854, I don't have a box for. So, we'll do a baggie. <laughs> One's quite a small one, I think. Smaller baggy, and I've also got a spare packet as well. Ooh. So, pop those in. And we're nearly at the end. Just one more colour to do. which is 3865, and I've got lots of those. 3865, 3865 goes in, and I already have a spare packet, so they will sit at the back with this one. And then I took my piece of paper in the tub with them. And so when I need to see what numbers are in the tub, I've got that piece of paper to hand. Okay, so we need to just remove these stickers so that the tubs are ready to use again for another kit. It's exciting. I like kitting down, do you? Knowing that you're going to be getting a new kit and using these tubs for another fabulous diamond painting. These stickers are coming off really easily, although now I've just tempted fate. <laughs> And there are a couple more steps that I need to do as I kit down, which I am going to show you. In which it's nice to have this sheet with all of the numbers on. It really does help the next stage. Okay, so we can throw those stickers away. I can see another loose diamond there. Okay, so these tubs are ready to use again. I'll put those aside. Okay, so another stage in the kitting down for me is that I keep all of my junk and bits and bobs in this tray with a pin, because that's what I use to remove the old wax out of the diamond pen when I want to. So these, I mean there's junk, so that's a massive bit of junk, so I'll remove that. Um, these, I don't try and find the colour for them, so I have a pot of square diamonds here, all mixed together. Obviously this pack here doesn't have a DMC number on it, so I've put the pack in here as well. And all I do is shove these in here. And that means that when I've got a project that doesn't need DMC numbers, I've got those to hand. For example, the little earrings that I made, I just wanted to use odd colours. You could use these in Christmas baubles, in little pots, all sorts of things. So that's that. Right, the last stage for me is to plot in my inventory what colours I have. So you will recognise this book, 
which is my list of the different colours and names. So what I do is I go through this list. If I haven't got one of these sheets, I do it with the legend on the canvas. And I just make sure that every colour is listed in my book. So 152, I do have square. And so 158, yes, I've got squares. 208, yes, I've got squares. Now you'll see down this side, the D means it's in a different storage system. I've also got like a ring binder and I store Diamond Painting Deutschland and the Diamond Art Club diamonds separately in that folder. So when I do that, I put a red capital here. So 2080S, 322 Baby Blue. So that was the new one for me. 322. So all I do is write square there. And of course, if it is a round, then I'll do a round symbol, like a zero. So next is 326. Again, I need to write square. 327, square. 352, got. Then 451, I know I have. Six ten. I think that was a new one, wasn't it? Six ten, yes. Six ten. Poor drab brown. <laughs> Square. Seven four four. I have been asked where I got this um, list from, by the way. I found it free on the internet a long time ago and I just printed it off and popped it in one of these ring binders and I find it ever so useful. So do have a dig around for it if, you've, if you want to use this system too. As I say, I have got um, a different way, a more high-tech way of plotting the colours, which I'm going to show you in a different video. That won't be long. I'll, I'll promise I'll get it done soon and show you that too. Right, 890, 899 is a new one. 900, yes. 915, yes. 938, definitely got. 939, of course. 945. 986 is a new one. Square. 989. Right, 3042. Three three two five three three six three three six eight seven. It is it's quite interesting, isn't it, how diamond painting manufacturers seem to use the same colours. So to get so many new ones in my collection is actually unusual. Even doing Josephine Walls, I suppose I added quite a few for them um, having 250 colours. Um, but for a kit this size, it's nice to get these unusual colourways. So 3687, now you might be able to see here, I do have circles, but it's the first time I've got squares. I shouldn't say circles. First time I did have rounds, should I say, and now I've got squares too. 3689, yes. 3705, yes. 3727, yes. 3731, yes. 3747 is another new one.
so do tell me if you if you don't use like a logging system like this then how do you keep track of the colors you've got or do you just have your tic tac boxes with the numbers on um i find this useful because if i make my own charts through pixel stitch then i can say what colors i've got even though i can't say how many um and that's when I really started using this system. If you haven't seen my video about creating a new chart, then do find that if you're interested. And I show on there using this system um, to put the colours in, to put the colour choices in. But like I say, you can't on pixel stitch say how many you've got. So if it says, or you'll need a background of 2,000 and you've got, say, 50, <laughs> then you may have to buy spares in to be able to finish your picture. So where were we up to? 3828, eight. I've got 3854. I've got circles for, and now I've got squares for. 3854, autumn gold. It's a nice name. 3865, yes. So that is the whole list done and logged in my book. So all I will need to do now to complete my kitting down and my storage is to add these in to Tic Tac boxes, which I'm not going to do on screen because one, I need to work out if I'm going to buy a new Tic Tac box and sort them all out. Um, or whether I'm going to remove these boxes and use these. So I'm going to give it a little bit of thought and, um, and work it out. Not sure yet. <laughs> anyway, I hope you found this video useful and that you've enjoyed seeing how I store things and my methods. And do please comment, share your ideas and tips for other people who might do things differently. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care. Bye.